dear students <clears throat> sorry and working accountants so welcome to my smart tally prime class youtube channel in the last video in the last video we we discussed about creating the i mean uh, stock groups that is main stock groups and sub stock groups and then how to alter or delete the stock groups we have discussed yesterday before that we discussed about the creating ledgers altering the ledgers and as well as <clears throat> sorry deleting the ledgers <clears throat> today so i am going to share now i am going to share the screen today we are going to discuss the next step is the next step that is after the creating the stock groups and everything after creating that we have to create the next item is we have to create the stock items actually the actual business of any company business means the actual purchase and sale of goods or the details of the goods different goods which we purchase and sell they are called stock items so now our next step is creating the stock items we create a stock groups then <clears throat> we have to create stock items then only we can make entries in the purchases voucher and sales voucher okay so for creating the stock items we have to add we have to create i mean in the stock item we have to give the quantity also the quantity when you are purchasing or selling goods different items what is the quantity you are purchasing and selling so the measuring the quantity is called the measurement of the quantity is called unit measurement of the quantity is called unit so along in this stock item when you are creating we have to give the unit also that is how to measure the stock item what is the measurement kg liter meter piece number etc this is the measurement so this measurement is called unit so we have to measure the stock so we have to we require the measurement or the unit also so before creating the stock item we have to create the unit of measurement unit of measure for the and stock item unit that is unit of measurement what is that unit of measurement i told you now and for each stock item we have to that is we require units for measuring that so how to create that unit so in this unit i will tell you i will open this so in the tally we are going to selecting a company and here that, 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 i will tell you about that later now we have to create otherwise you can you have to create this stock unit okay so previously we with the help of this masters that is masters heading three heads three options create alter and chart of accounts using this we created ledgers alteration we discussed about alteration discussed about deletion of ledgers similarly creation alteration as well as deletion of stock groups also now we require that the creation alteration and deletion of stock items that is the next step so before the stock item we have to know about the stock unit of measure that is called simply called units so we have to create the units first we can create the unit at the time when you are make in making entries in the stock item also that is called secondary method then we will tell that then i will tell you but again now first we will learn the primary method before making entries what is the method how to create that we will learn and secondary method we will learn when you are making the entries also so first of all to create the stock unit that is stock which is also called stock item unit or stock unit stock group stock item stock unit so that unit how to create the unit so in this case in the masters in the masters this is the gateway of tally in this gateway of tally masters transactions utilities are all reports are there we completed this one and watches we are doing now in that we completed some watches some watches we are going to do for those watches only we created stock groups main groups and sub groups we created with the help of this create alter and with the help of this masters button now using this masters button now we have to create the unit also so what you have to do is we have to go to create so we are going to create 
what we are doing now we are going to create the unit of the stock stock item that means we have to go to inventory masters go to unit go to unit now you click so here you see is here there are two types of units simple and compound simple means one measurement only one measurement only compound means for some times we take two measurements that is two units simple means single unit one unit compound means two units example i will tell you for example on kg it is a simple unit for example on a box containing 10 kgs so there are two quantities there two units one is box that is one unit one is box another one is kg so 10 a box containing 10 kg so that is called compound unit two in one measurement we have two measurements inside that is one box one measurement one box with one box of 10 kg so that is called compound so that compound and there is one another thing used nowadays along with the compound units there is another one alternate unit alternate unit so first now we will record and we will know about this simple unit and compound and uh, alternate units we will discuss at a later stage okay so simple we will take up the type of the unit is simple and here symbol symbol means the short form for example kilograms what you write kgs numbers you write envoys like that you take numbers for example i take, we will take number if you take number you will get we will take number that is the symbol then for formal name that is the full name so how you write numbers numbers and then we will go to decimal places number of decimal places see when you are taking the measurements or units some units with will be having only numbers only prime numbers that is numbers that is the symbol number so number unit numbers is he is containing only one so how can you supply how, the numbers one number two numbers three numbers one two three four like that whole numbers only you will will have that's why in that case there is no one and a half number 1.5 number like that one number two number three numbers that's why for these numbers we don't have any decimal places just it is a whole number so you'll take this zero no decimal point if you buy or sell five units if you will type five it will show five no decimal points that is not. for other units some other units they require some decimal points for numbers there will be no decimal point for example letters letters cages cages in the sense cages will have three decimal points 1.567 kg 1.256 kg 255 kg like that that is why in the case of cages we require three decimal points two decimal three decimal places for cages for liters we require two decimal letters 1.50 1.60 1.85 1.75 liters like that for liters we require for any liquid for liters we require two de two decimal places for cages we require two three decimal places for numbers we don't require any decimal places and depending on the quantity depending on the quantity I mean quantity or the depending on the unit we can decide and if we have to take the decimal places here because we can make alteration there later also but but after I, we will come to it later so first of all we have to take it here why should not take afterwards that i will tell again afterwards okay like this right here now you what to do you press enter key otherwise you press otherwise you press alt i mean control a so save it with control a this number already exists so i will one, I will, one minute i will delete that because it is already created in telugu version okay so create stock sorry unit simple pages kilograms unit is nil here you can take control a so it is saved so one unit is created for example we will take up kgs we will take up we will take up kgs k g s kgs short name is already is easy to delete it now is deleted it's, it's, we have deleted this oh, kgs not deleted okay now we are taking unit kg 
kgs kilograms so here in the case of kilograms we require three decimal places because after decimal point there is three digits 1.865278 like that that is why we require three decimal points if you don't enter you take it as zero at the time of making entries we can alter but only in the case of the first entry if you use the kgs unit first time then only you can if you want you can change the i mean number of places once you make entry for some other goods and another goods if you want to make for one goods you sold 10 kgs so we entered 10 no decimals and after that another unit another stock item you sold 5.6 kgs then they require we require 5.6 there so there you want one decimal and there we have to give decimal places if you want to give decimal places there you cannot do because already one entry is made that's why you should not do that's why here only we have to give so to give at other places i mean when you are making entries you cannot give so to make the changes it will take a long time it will it is a long process that we will learn later okay so we have to take this one okay this one. suppose you will take up letters letters is a lts we will take up the full form is letters so here for the letters we have to take 1.6865, 1.75, like that, two decimal places. We take two decimal places. That's our X. So like this, we have to create any number. For example, numbers will have, will have letters. We have to cages. In the case of cloth, we require meters. Meters also three decimal places. Okay. Meters. And in the case of some goods divided, some goods divided, then they are called pieces. For example, cakes or some other things. So if they are cut, they are cut up, cut together. In that case, they are called as pieces. Pieces, sometimes boxes, sometimes bags, bags, boxes, like that. We will have many units. So all these units, when required, we can create. Okay. So first time, even in the entry, that is at the time of making entry, also we can create. Here you see, this is a I mean, uh, in, uh, units you are creating first time, that is before making the entry. That's because this is called primary method. We see here unit creation. It is called unit creation. Simply creation means it is primary method. In the case of secondary method at the time of entries, then it will show unit creation secondary. Okay. So primary method we did. Now we can see what are the what are the what you call uh, units created. You can go to alter button, alter, then go to save masters, go to unit, you can see cages letters. Yeah, and you can see in another place also, with the help of chart of accounts, there also, if you go to units, so there also you can see the cages, list of units. You can again see the list of units. Here you can see, or at the alter button, there also you can see cages and lists. Units simply it is only here it is only showing ledger accounts. That is, it is showing simply it is showing the saying as units. There it is a list where list a chart of accounts. That is why it is called it is showing list of units, list of ledgers like that, list of accounts, list of ledgers, list of groups. Now this is showing list of units. Okay, so this is the method. Very simple. This one we have to create the units. Suppose, now, the next one will complete in this cell. Huh? How you want to, if you want to make any alteration or if you want to delete the unit, how to do? So, for deletion or for deletion, and one more thing I'll tell you, this, this unit should be created separately, individually. There is no creation of units. There is no creation of units. Creation of units, what you call, I mean, uh, multi-creation. So, see, multi-masters is not available here. Disabled. So in this case, there is no multi masters for units. For stock items, you'll have this is not an item. This is simply a master. I mean, stock uh, unit. That's why you don't have that. That's why when you want to alter also, alter also, we have to go only through alter. In the previous cases, ledgers and groups, I mean, stock groups, we altered through the multi, -alt, I mean, multi watches we altered like that. Here in this case, only with alter, we can do. So go to alter and go to unit, go to units. So the units are displayed. And in this case, 
I told you already when discussing about star groups. So alteration of or deletion of a star group can be done only there are no star I mean groups under that main under that group. If you want to alter or delete a particular group, we have to see whether there are any other groups under that. If there are other groups under that, that cannot be de deleted or altered. In such case, that can be altered, but deleted cannot be deleted. Alteration can be done, but cannot be deleted. When the other groups under that, if they are deleted or the group is changed, then this can be deleted. Otherwise, cannot be deleted. But in the case of units, even before making any entry, before making any entry, you can alter, you can delete, you can do anything. For example, see latest. So we have not done any, we have not entered any transaction. So now you can alt D. So you can delete. So it is deleted. See, it is deleted. But if you make an entry, if you make an entry, if you make an entry, you cannot delete or alter or delete. This is uh, pages. Below, sorry. Name already exists. Okay. It is showing already. We have now. So, okay. And, uh, okay, sorry. Late, we, we have not done numbers we have to create now. Numbers you deleted. So, we have to create numbers. See. Numbers. Numbers. Okay. See. Like this. So, we have two groups here. We have two groups. No, I mean, two units we have. So this can be deleted. It can be altered or deleted. Alteration also can be done. See here, we deleted kgs or this one. Suppose uh, this sometimes some will be then NUS. This one, suppose if you have to change this to NUS or to NUMS, 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 numbers. So this is only symbol we give for our purpose. This is the Main, main name, so that will be shown in the tally. Okay. So like this, if you want to change this, see now, see, accepted. We have done pages, number C change, number C change. So like that, before making any entry, we can delete, we can make alteration, we can do anything before making any entry because under this, there will be no other unit under this because on the, <coughs> under the main group, there are subgroups. But under the units, there is no other unit. That is why this is the only one. That is why under this, there will be no this one, but we'll have entries using this. Entries using this quantity, that is units. When you are making entry, purchases, what is the quantity? Cages, numbers, or anything. What is the goods sold? So what is the quantity? So you'll have it. Like that. If you make any entry, that cannot be deleted or altered because if you are making entries, so the entries will be made in many, in many, many times in the transactions. In many transactions, you made entries, purchases, sales, everything you made entries. Now, if you want to change, that change is to take place in all the, in all the other vouchers. That is not possible. That is not good. If this is, we are changing here, but this change is not related to others, then how can you change only in this? That is why if the entry is made, any entry is made, we cannot alter these units or delete the units. But if the already entered transactions are deleted, the transactions are deleted, then these can be altered or deleted. But for the purpose of this, we cannot delete all because if there is only one entry, so we can delete that entry and we can alter this. But in many purchases, sales, have, there will be many entries. In that case, you cannot delete all the entries. So we cannot delete entries. If you delete entries, the work, total working, total tally, and total transactions, everything will be wrong. That is why the entries cannot be deleted. So that is why without deleting the entries, these cannot be altered or deleted. That is why alteration or deletion of units is not possible. Because once there is already entries, but there is a method even if there are entries, this can be altered. This can, that cannot be deleted. This can be altered or deleted also, but the process is a very long process. 
is very difficult and very long process. That also we will learn after some time, not immediately. After some time, we will learn because in the problems, the stock and different stocks and all these things, contracts are like this. We will have, we will get this one place, we will enter wrong, this what you call uh, wrong unit, we will enter, we will select wrong unit and we will enter, we will make the entries. And after that, we found that is wrong. So that is to be changed means all the entries related to that are wrong. That is why in all the, I mean, entries, we have to change the, or we have to alter the quantity. That is the unit. We have to add that. that you cannot do. That you cannot do. That is, you have to alter here. In the transaction, you cannot alter. That is in such case, what to do? So we have to make in other way. In the other way, we have to go and then only we have to make alteration and then it can be altered. Okay, that we will do after some time. But at present, only we will learn simple, only simple units. There are some compound units or alternate units. We will discuss them afterwards. But at present, we are taking only simple unit means sim single unit. Simple means cages, numbers, letters, or pieces, bags, boxes, like that. That only we will learn now. And the, with this, we have completed about the vertical, about units of measure. Variation or what about the alteration, that is alter or delete everything. We learned about these units. So with the help of these units are required when you are creating the stock items. That is stock items means the goods actually sold or purchased. They are called the different types of goods. They are called different items. The different types of goods are called items. So when you are recording the item, you have to record the quantity also. Quantity is nothing but unit. Quantity means the measurement, how you measure that goods. So measuring these units, what are the units you are using? For milk, you use liters. For cloth, you use meters. Like that. Like that we have to learn. So it is learned now. Now with the help of these, we can, we can create the stock items also. In the next video, we will do that. But here we are creating. This can be done at the time of creating the stock item also. There they will ask unit. Then itself you can create unit. That is called secondary method. Then what is what it will say? It will tell it will say, see here, simple unit unit creation. There it will say unit creation secondary. Unit creation secondary. It will say that we will learn then. So with this, we will close this session. I have one minute. So with this, we will close this session. So this is a very simple topic and small topic. Units of measure because it is required. It's very important. But you must be very careful with the units of measurement or units of stock units. Okay. And with this, we will complete this. And please subscribe to my channel. All the persons who are not yet subscribed. I, I know I from the details, I, I am understanding. Many people are watching the videos, but not, not subscribe. Subscribers are very less. But watching all the persons, watching the videos are not subscribing. Please, all those who are not subscribed, please subscribe the channel. Then you will get the subscribe channel and click the bell, bell icon, then select all. Then you will get the notification every day because every day one video will come live from my side. So every video I am uploading one video, Telugu today and tomorrow English like that every, this one today. I uploaded two. That is Telugu I uploaded. Now I am going to upload English. So Telugu will come on one day. English will come on one day. Like that you will get all the videos. You will get notification also. So do that and share the channel with all your friends. There are many friends. Because I am taking up these videos in a systematic way one by one. So you have to learn in that way only. In that way systematically if you learn as I post the videos you will get a very 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 expert knowledge. Okay, that's why I'm asking you to follow the videos till the end you follow. Don't skip the videos. You view the videos till the end and just you like the video after watching that and then you post your comment what your idea about the butler video under the video uh, under the comment section. Okay, with this I close this session and I hope you will all support my channel and I hope you follow this carefully. And one more thing is, practicing is more important. Simply watching the video is not, well, even if you watch 10 times, it is not good. It, you cannot learn well. One, unless you practice, you practice three, four times. 
That's all you will get very good knowledge. Like that, you become good accountants, expert accountants, and uh, you get expert knowledge and you become a full fledged fine accountants. I hope you get a good knowledge and you become a good and full fledged and perfect accountants. No? So, wish you all the best. Be safe and be happy. You all, you just go through all the videos, you earn, you gain the expert knowledge and you will become very good accountants. So with this, I'm stopping. Good night.